In this video segment, we're going to show how to remove a back cover from a raw sovereign laminator. The first tools you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver, either a manual screwdriver or a power screwdriver. We prefer a power screwdriver to speed up the process. First, we want to remove the screws off the side covers of the laminator. You'll find one in the back, one possibly in the top, one in the front, and one in the bottom of the front. Remove the cover. Proceed to the opposite side and remove that cover. When we pull this out, we need to disconnect the emergency stop from the back and also our ribbon cable from our control panel. After removing the side cover, you want to check to see if there's any screws on this side or the opposite side that holds the back cover onto the laminator. Now to remove the back cover, you'll find one to two screws that are facing you on the back on the left and right side and a series of screws, three or four, on the bottom. Remove those screws. Now we're going to raise and remove our back cover. Pick up from the bottom and lift up and straight out and your back cover will come off. You'll be able to access your main drive motor, your circuit board, and your transformer to the laminator.